Well, got a new challenge for myself. I'm in the need of a milking stanchion. If I pronounced that right. It's the little gadget that the goat jumps up on, puts his head through a little deal, you lock him the head up in there, and you milk your goat. That's what I need to build. I have a lady coming tomorrow night, is going to preg check, pregnancy check, my little Nigerian dwarf though. She's showing that she may be pregnant and she's bagging it up. Her backside is starting to do that changing, you know. I won't get in all those words, you know, that other people use. But normally I might mess up. So, the thing is, well, I've got to find some lumber. I found my decking part of it, which should be standing, just happened to have it. It was here when we moved on this property. And actually, it's two of them the same size. So I've got my decking. I'll show you what it is. I just gotta go around all my lumber piles and pine the house and beside the house and, and find me some legs and stuff like that. I already found my screws. I already knew right where they was. So, show you this little decking deal right here, but should be standing on. There it is right there. It's wide enough. I haven't measured it yet. So, that's what I'm gonna use for her to stand on. I put something on the side there so she can't slip off of it. So and um, so I just need to go around now and find me some boards for legs and stuff like that. So let me go dig around here in a little bit. So well, here's one of my wood piles. There's a two before there. There's one over there. I'm trying to find some short ones. Start cutting off some long ones. Um, I'm sure. I'm sure they're in here. I got to dig around and find them little things. Well, here's another stack of lumber. It was from the front porch and we worked on it. It's supposed to be John's lumber, but I found me three pieces. I think I'm gonna take these three right here that I found. The other one I found on the back side. And see what else I can gather up. Let's walk over here. Let me get my dolly that way just in case find something over here that I want to get yep alright I think I got my goat stanchion pretty well finished it looks like one now I'm going to turn this thing around and show you don't laugh alright Ernie don't laugh I tried here's my, here's my goat milk stand right here folks There it is. I think I have my neck still a little bit too wide. The socks, I put her in there a while ago. She can almost pull her head out. I may have put me some kind of cushions or something other inside there until they get a little bit bigger. Miss Coco is the one that's got to go in there tomorrow afternoon to be pregnancy checked. So. That's why I had to build this thing today. Because the lady asked me if I had one. I told her no. So. But down there, I got that little out there. The bottom of there. I can read. You did a little bit better. I stick. I just got a screw down there right now. Holding it together. You got to put me a bolt through there. But. Uh, I got into John's lumber. So. The other deal right here, it was here when we bought the property. There's two of them things. Put a little tube or two right there so that they won't slide off if I have any, get scared of whatever, you know. They have to catch your foot on. I may have put me a little bitty ramp right here. Socks didn't really want to jump up there, but they can jump because they jump out there on some stuff a whole lot higher than this. So, 
But anyways, that's my milking stand. So I think I did a fairly good job on it. Guarantee you it's not going to fall down. Between the good tube of sixes, tube of fours, and all that stuff. I think it'll stand up for a while. So, yep, I think it'll work. Been fixing that with that slide this way or that way. But, uh, ain't got it quite being 100%, but it will work. So, there we go. But I am learning how to do things a little at a time by other videos out there in the YouTube world. I don't know how many different videos I've watched to, to do this one. All kinds of doing it, pallet methods, all tall ones, short ones, long ones, wide ones, you know it. Everybody's opinion, you know how they want to do theirs, but I did this my way. As that song goes, I did it my way. Well, my stanchion, or stanchion, what you want to call it. Anyways, my stand worked pretty well on the goats while ago. The lady came, did ultrasound on them. They're both bred. One's three weeks away, one's about a month away. So I have to get busy and get some little barns built for them over here and some straw and get it all set up for them. The little Nigerian dwarf, she's about three weeks away. And the mama goat, Miss Olsen, she's about a month away. So then her daughter, we didn't check her and we didn't check socks. No. So we'll do them later on. See how far along they might be. So but my deal work out. Coco's a little bit big for her and is a little bit small for Miss Olsen. So I'm gonna find me some kind of happy medium deals to put on there to put different size goat necks and go from there. And come to think about it, Miss Olsen is still in there. Oh lordy. Hope she's still eating that feed. Hold on. Yeah, I left her in here. She got her head out of that thing somehow or another. Good thing that she had a little bit of slack or she could have choked herself in here. Due to me not paying attention to remember after the lady left to come back and get her out of here. She gave me that evil eye like get me off this thing. Well she had some feet in here. Yeah, there's the feet in there. Alright, let me get Miss Olsen untied and back over yonder. Hold on. Well, that could have been a total disaster. I could have lost my goat but she just stood there. you seen that. Good thing she was gentle. She had something to occupy her time with. Had that feed up there. You know, if she could have jumped off the thing on sideways and choked herself to death. Um, but thank goodness everything went well. But thanks for watching the video. I'm going to get up and do something else around here. Like, I got three weeks or less to get them with sheds built out there. So, it's the pressure's on me. I like that stenching. Stenching. <coughs> Maybe I'll set it right. But it worked well. Why not for the lady to sit down on and do a job and milk later on and all that stuff. So, I think I did a good job. You know what that means. So, anyways, thanks for watching Back to Life Homestead and we're still going to Keep on bringing this thing back to life day by day, little by little. All right, folks. Take care. Bye. I dropped my little remote from the camera. Bye-bye.